Today I'm going to be transforming my goat field with a brand new climbing frame for the goats just like this one. This one's good because it's really high up and there's a lot of different sections for the goats to go on. So to start off it's got like this ramp area here where the goats are now. We've got the central bit here which is a bit smaller and then this bigger expansion. This design works really well as all four of my goats can fit on it. But down in the bottom of the goat field there is this second climbing frame which is what we're going to be transforming because this bit like here is rubbish whilst that is actually really good. So this is what we've got to work with. We've got this huge stack of pallets here which have kind of just been sat in the field and then obviously we've got any we can take from here as well. But uh, this is a fun new game for the goats. It's like King of the Hill but just random pile edition. With that all destroyed, it left with kind of like a goat assault course. As you can see, Mike keeps falling over, but they're all loving it, even Oscar's over here. So the plan is with this like horrible pit thing, we're gonna build up like a square box that like we did with that over this so the goats don't have to stand in it or literally like be anywhere near it because it's a bit unpleasant. I've tied it up a bit of poo of like my pooper scooper or whatever it is because it's not pleasant, it needs to be tidied up. Here we are then, the start of the expansion. Now this is really, really cool. So it's really simple what I've done. Basically just set up the two pallets together and then I've just put one screw in here as you can see like there somewhere. As you can see like there, just to hold it up so it's nice and strong. Because the worst part about putting anything with goats is they just get in the way. They've walked off now finally, but all this is really new to them. So they just jump around, get in the way and push things over. Now this is the most important point, making sure this beam or that walkway is big enough for the gaps. Obviously I've got plenty of space left, so I'm going to move this bit of the climbing frame slightly over, just a little bit more, so we can give them a bit more like distance between the two. Now I don't want to move it too far because I want to leave about this sort of amount of space on either side, because otherwise the goats will like start bending it as they stand on it. We're starting to make good progress on the climbing frame. Henry's already really interested in it, but I'll show you what I've done quickly. So if we have a look here, I did actually mess up this screw here, so we'll just ignore that. Um, this one here is obviously it's not really like a good position because this is actually not really that strong But it's just there to hold up in the meantime until we go through and reinforce it with some longer screws like there and then at the bottom as well Now there's a bit of struggle with putting the screws in but it worked really really well You could just leave it like this with the four screws But I'm gonna go above and beyond kind of and just reinforce it a bit more right with a full box done We've got to decide what pallet's gonna go on the top and for that I'm thinking I'm gonna use this one here because it's like the most rectangular and the, the only one left That's actually like solid. It's the next day now and the climbing frame's actually looking really really awesome I think it's really really awesome. I'm really happy with it as you can see Henry's trying to get on it He's really unsure on how to get to the top So that's what we're gonna be fixing today with all these loose pallets that are littered around still now I'm most of these pallets like these ones here are just destroyed so we're going to be kind of mixing and matching and trying our best. So what I'm thinking to start with we're just going to basically stack them up and see how high they go and then we might kind of manipulate them on their side or something or we might chop them up and make some like steps but uh, we'll see how it goes. So what I'm going to do I'm going to go through these six pallets here make a small like pile there and then use this as like a ramp. Now I do think the ramp's going to be quite steep but I do have some extra pallets outside the gate if I need to but most of those are like properly destroyed unlike these ones. I wasn't ready for Henry to be up here but it shows that stack works as he was able to jump from the stack up into the middle and then up onto this bit here. We now need to go and screw this all together so it's nice and secure because it is falling apart as you can see and then use this as a ramp so everybody else can get up because I think only Henry can jump across that gap but it would be cool seeing the other goats trying. It's the next day and the climbing frame is looking really really awesome. Now I really like how this section here works. It's really really awesome and it's really actually quite high up for the goats and it gives them a really good view out across these fields, all the horses that are over there and then like some foxes that run around over here. Now this section does need to be redone. It works well actually, the goats have to like climb up it but I want to redo it because it doesn't look the best. So for that I've got some more pallets which you can see Phoebe is trying to eat at the moment. Moment. There's two here that are quite flimsy, not very solid, so I'm tempted just to like chop them up and use them as like scrap wood for a new project. So for this section here, what I want to use, I want to use like those barbed wire kind of wooden coil things to make like some like mini like statue type things that they can like run across with like ramps a bit like this. So it's like a, a stack here they run across and stack here and they like run and then oh it's gonna be so cool. Like a proper kind of assault course. I think Oscar's problem is there's some straw right in the sheds because they'd been in there for a while because it'd been raining so we needed some more straw. The girls aren't happy because they're being kicked out but Henry, have a look at this. Henry is absolutely loving life in here just eating straw. I think Maya wants some as well. Whoa, Maya, you're so close. And then... 
I think Oscar wants to be in there as well, but there is straw in this shed as well because this one was the one that was like properly empty. Now all this straw that's kind of loose out the front I will be tidying up obviously as well. I just need it to dry out a bit more because it got kicked in the night when it was raining so it's a bit soggy still. But it's not as bad as it was. So I give the goats barley straw as as you can see they really like to eat it but it's also a good bedding. You can use like wheat straw with your goats but they don't actually eat that at all and just use it as bedding so barley straw is much better. Here we go. Here we go. Come on Henry. Come on. There we go. That's why I quite like this stack because it means the goats have to like be goats and climb up it. This bit's obviously just like a step really, but come on Henry, up you come. And then you've got to jump up that bit as well. There we go, keeps him moving and then across the ramp. And there we go. Good boy. He just chomps those down. And there we are. <laughs> got Henry on the climbing frame. The girls are finally able to eat straw. And Oscar's just off being Oscar. I think we should do like a full video on him because he's always just doing his own thing and he's actually quite interesting. I don't know really if you want to be seeing this on camera, but uh, that's Oscar. That's what he likes to do. Look at him. He's great. Honestly, Oscar's best thing. Hey, hey, don't even. He's going to start headbutting me in a minute. Hey, head up. Look at this. Look at your beard. You need to like put your head up. He's not very happy at the moment. This is the first time I've seen Oscar on the new climbing frame. He literally just climbed up there and he's just he's just looking around. Look at him. Oscar, come here. Oscar, come here. There we go. Look at this. Look at his beard. Let me know though if you want a full video about Oscar because I think that could be really interesting. Oscar's so funny because he's got like so much personality but he's always just off on his own doing his own thing. And that's like goat behaviour, right? Henry's in charge so he gets to do everything with all the goats and then Oscar's just off doing his thing. And that's why he doesn't really feature in the video as much is because he's never really with Henry or the girls and he's always just off doing his own thing. He can also be like a little bit grumpy but uh, that's fine, it's quite funny really. I've really enjoyed making this climbing frame and I hope you've enjoyed this video because it's been a, a little bit chucked together a bit but it's been good fun to film. Now my last video I talked about what I was going to do with breeding Maya and Phoebe so if you're interested watch this video here and that goes into full detail on what I'm going to be doing next year for goat breeding. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.